Welcome back to First Things First. <laughs> What's wrong, Waddy? Hashtag. Jenna's Jenna doing, doing, doing things. Jenna I don't know what she's getting ready to do with this wife. We're like seven segments in a row <laughs> of Jenna just. She yelled to the control room. Hey, listen, I got a fresh one coming up. I, I, I just, like, what are those things going to do? They're in the control room, Jenna. And Jenna does not realize that while we do okay. have a large staff, okay. the majority of people watching this television Chris. show don't work on it. It's people that don't know. Deontay, check out this great joke I got coming your way. Here comes the head broadcast to America. Good to see you again, Chris Broussard. Oh my it's goodness. not even that good. <laughs> it's not even that funny. Let's talk about Chris, let's just talk about the Cavs and everything behind it. Yeah, we go. They can put the Pacers behind them tonight with a win. In Game 6 in Indiana, history says it's it's no problem. Cavs have won 13 straight potential series clinching playoff games since 2009. It certainly won't be easy, though. Pacers have played them tough in this series. Also, the Cavs only have one player. But that one player scored 44 <laughs> points in Game 5. So, there's that. Chris Broussard, all jokes aside, can LeBron's Game 5 heroics turn the Cavs postseason around? No. That shot's over. It's dead and gone. Mm. I mean, it's, it's, and they, the Cavs need to look at it that way. Now, I think they'll win this series. I think they'll win the next series. You know, it and won't then we'll see what happens. No, the, not because the momentum of, it. of the shot. And it's done. done. Finished. And I was there in 2009 when LeBron hit a better shot. It was the same shot almost exactly against, the against Orlando, but they were down. This one, there wasn't that much pressure because you're tied. Yeah, you get you miss it, you yeah, go to OT. Yes. Mm -hmm. This one, they were down 2, about to go down 2-0 at home after having a 66-win regular season. He hits the shot. It's great. He celebrates the same, almost the same exact way, and they lose three of the next four. Oh, what? Orlando was a better team. Had better, had, was a tough matchup for the Cavs. It and this, my point is that, this does not take Kevin Love and Rodney Hood and Jordan Clarkson and George and all these other guys off the hook. They better show up. It's not going to be some magic elixir. Oh, LeBron hit this amazing shot. We're good now. No, they got to show up. Listen, you mentioned the shot in 09, but what about the shot in 15? Down 2-1 against the Bulls from the corner that absolutely did then propel them forward. Well, but they the won the rest of that was, series and they swept Atlanta. The difference was that was a better team. Was it, though? With Ke Hold on. Think you about had that Kyrie though. Irving. But Kyrie in the next series only played 40 minutes because of his knee, and Kevin Love was out, and they didn't have the experience. No. I don't know how much better it was. That, that and was Atlanta, that Atlanta team wasn't that good. Team won 60 games. I don't care. I don't okay. care. The East, it was, no, they weren't that good. Kyle Corver, Al Horford, Paul that Millsap, team better than that Jeff Toronto team. team this year. Anyway, regardless, <laughs> the, reg thank you. Yeah. Regardless, uh, I, this, I, this I is don't what, think this is what I worry about, and, and and this comes from talking to players who have played with LeBron, talking to Ray Allen, talking to Shane Battier, talking to Dwayne Wade. They always felt like they had a chance, no matter who they were playing, as long as they had LeBron. But these were all accomplished players. Yeah. They said that and also said, man, we got to do our part to give him a chance to be LeBron at the end. And what I worry about, with the, I saw them guys jumping up and down like they had won a rec game as eighth graders. Like they shot I'm, more than a basket. It, they have to do their part. Yes. Like there is no care. LeBron, he's got this as muscle memory. If they get another game winning shot, LeBron feels like he can make another one. But. There's not one other guy on that team that think that they can make a shot. What if they double team LeBron? Who is he going to pass to that can make that open shot? Because that's what's eventually going to end up happening. They take the ball out of LeBron's hands. They force him to pass it. And there's no one on that roster that has any type of confidence that I can knock down the shot. So I don't believe there's going to be carryover from this shot. This is an extension of what we've seen during the regular season. Now, the way that I think that they can use this as a benefit, if this helps them get to round three, if they get to and they start to get a little more cohesiveness as a team, because they didn't have training camp. They didn't have the first part of the season. George Hill's been out of this series. So if they can collectively put together where they can play 10 games together in a pressure-packed situation, I believe that that's the way that they get the type of experience and the type of good feeling. But it won't be 
because of well, that shot. Well, I can't, I can't directly attribute it to that one shot changed everything. What I can tell you is I would. You're talking about 2015. No, I'm, no, I'm this year. I'm not going to okay. say, I'm not going to okay. say that that one shot changed everything. But I do think all of a sudden there was a collective sigh of relief. There will be a bigger sigh of relief when you get to the next round and you're at 0-0, zero, zero, either with home court over the eight seed Washington or a team that you have seen, these guys have seen the Cavs dominate in Toronto. You don't need some long time history. But there's they no way, even happened. if they get through this series, there's no way that they look at Toronto as, oh, this is going to be yeah, easier. No they struggled against the Pacers. Release isn't coming. No, I, okay, I think the Cavs feel they're. So they you think the better. players think, hey, man, it's going to be tougher against the Pacers? I think. If that, we just get over that, that line, here, here's I, don't, what I, I don't think they're going to Here's what I know is the life. Pacers have played the Cavs last year as well, far tougher than Toronto. I know that the Cavs. Have, Oh. The Cavs got a new roster, though. The, here's so the thing. Let's talk about this year, then. The Pacers won three out of four against the Cavs in the regular season. They won game one of this of this series. We saw Toronto think they had the Cavs dead in the water a month ago, and the Cavs come storming back to tear their hearts out. Like, the Pacers, for some reason or another, the Cavs have played them in the playoffs in the last two years nine times. Cavs are 7-2. and two, But they're 7-2 and two and have outscored them by a total of listen, six points. But listen, last year I, I just think we're doing a disservice to the Pacers that right now they're a buzzer beater away from being up three to two. Now you're moving them to the to the semifinals against Toronto, which they that they have a great history over. They're also one miss away from Nick being down to three to but, two. But here, here's the thing too, Nick. If we look at possible momentum changes or things that will wake the Cavs up, if LeBron some of these first halves he's had didn't do it. You know, like how many times did we think, oh, LeBron game two, you know, the way he played in the first half, that should have made guys relax and now we're rolling. But it didn't. I mean, we've seen Indiana come back time after time. Now, again, Victor I think Oladipo's the played bad series. three games. Yes, and, they're right, and they're one shot right away there. from being well, up three. What makes you think he's going to play better? Like this idea that... Because if you can have hope, I can have hope. No, no, okay, that's fair. <laughs> no, that, that, that's fair. But, I mean, there's no... If that's the case, though, is Kevin Love going to play? He's got to play. 12 points a game. Like three of the Cavs' other four starters besides LeBron are shooting 35% or less. No, in the last game, other than other than Kyle Korver, no Cav hit more than two. Two shots. It's it's remarkable. I understand that part of it. And I'm not sitting here saying that all of a sudden Kevin Love's going to, in game six, be better. But I believe they're going to win tonight. And I believe they will feel great about whomever they're facing in round two. You said the last time that. the last time LeBron hit that shot. It didn't matter. They went on to lose because Magic was a better team. Who's the better team here? I think Cleveland is because they the got Cavs the far better, better player. <laughs> and Kevin Love is, look, he's not playing well. And the scary thing about Love He's rarely been as good in the playoffs as he has in the regular season. That's a problem. But I need him to step up. But, yeah, as long if I got LeBron James, I'm better than the Indiana Pacers. Listen, you are That's not feeling good about Jose Calderon and Cal Corver. Man, they're getting He's taken the off the dribble. He's the second guy now. I mean, but on the defensive, they didn't take it off the dribble as much as they want to. You get a pick and roll, you get a switch, you throw it into the paint, you can get whatever kind of bucket you want. There is no one that's got confidence outside of Nick Wright in the lineup that Cleveland has. These, these guys, they shouldn't even be starting. See, see, I don't have confidence in the lineup they have right now and the way they're playing. I do have confidence that LeBron, what he's done in their three wins, he'll do it tonight. And that will be enough to beat Indiana. I think they and then they tonight. get And then they get a fresh slate. All, I, I'll say but you think they're going to beat Toronto 4-1? I, I, I will set it at this. Between right now as we sit here today and Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals, I think the Cavs will lose one time. That's what I think, and I think the so, discussion yeah. will be discussion will be what what changed with Cleveland. That's what I believe will and happen. And you think we'll it's going to be that shot? But I I think that shot will be the moment we look to. Whether that shot actually whether that was the real reasoning or not, that's the moment we'll look to. Chris Broussard, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Great job. Bro. Always great. Sorry that Always I stole fun. the spotlight and said way too many things during this segment. Coming up, is Baker Mayfield the answer in Cleveland?